this video, I'm going to list out at least 15 things that I hate about Charleston. And you probably will too. I say at least 15 because there's a good chance I'll add some more towards the end because all this talk about things I hate probably will inspire me for other things that I hate. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. I am reading off a list, so deal with it. Um, number one on the list, blue laws. Blue laws are some very outdated laws that I don't know why we still have an effect, but they prevent you from being able to buy liquor past 7 p.m. every day or you can't even buy liquor at all on Sundays. This is probably made literally when this country was founded and the fact that it still is in effect is just baffling to me. Um, so yeah, I hate that. Another thing I hate are the green laws. And by green laws, I mean the fact marijuana is still illegal in this city, in a state, <laughs> and I hate it. Um, next, 2 a.m. closing time. It's kind of, I wouldn't say love-hate relationship. It's probably a good thing that the bars are not open past two, but I would just want to have the option, you know, right? Um, right now, in the midst of the coronavirus, they're actually closed at 11. So I guess I could, you know, be grateful that that is not the current state of things. Wait, I'm just kidding. That sucks even more. <laughs> um, all right, so flooding and gravity in general. Um, Charleston, it floods here. If it's high tide and it rains for like two minutes, suddenly your car is underwater. It's crazy. Be careful where you park. And, um, it's really annoying. It's really, really annoying. <laughs> um, another thing I hate, natural disasters. Charleston, uh, we are prone to these wonderful things called hurricanes and they just seem to really get in the way of life sometimes. Um, besides that, we even had a huge earthquake. I wasn't alive at the time, but apparently it was really bad. So that's something that I hate. Um, pandemic, is that a natural disaster? I guess it's like a man-made disaster. I don't like those either. Um, tiny buildings, um, even more so in the midst of a global pandemic, but Charleston is a very historic city built by seemingly very small people who have very narrow buildings that have no space at all. And if you want to go party, you literally rub shoulders with everybody and it's just small and cramped. And like, I want space. So I hate tiny buildings. It's hot AF. It is so hot in the summertime, y'all. Like it's insane and I hate it. And if you've never experienced humid southern heat you will hate it too riots this is a new one uh yep i hate riots they suck they really didn't uh didn't really bring any joy and now we have no apple store but hopefully they achieved their you know their goal <laughs> might delete that off the list um skeeters skeeters i don't think anybody ever said that they liked skeeters uh, here in Charleston, when you combine hot AF with Skeeters, it's muggy and it's buggy. And you know what else we have? No CMs. They might even be worse because Skeeters, you can like easily kill. And then I hate when the blood gets all over you, but the no CMs, it's just, they're ruthless and you, you can't see them. So you can't kill them. So they're just there. So basically you just got to go away <laughs> or suffer. And then, you know, I just thought of a new thing, palmetto bugs. They're the cockroaches of the South and they're everywhere and I hate them. Next on the list, being cold in the summertime. Now I mentioned it is hot as fuck, hot AF, <laughs> um, but we really have the air conditioning thing. Uh, we take that very seriously. So despite the fact that it's 110 degrees outside, when you go sit at a restaurant or a bar, it's like 65 and suddenly your body is just shocked and you're freezing and you are just hot as shit. It's like you can not be comfortable. You just have to be one extreme to the other. Now, related to this is another thing that I hate. Well, I don't know, booty sweat. <laughs> booty sweat is the phenomenon when it's hot as fuck 
and you're sitting on a stool or a chair and you're so hot that your butt sweats all over it. And then you get up and you have like a little butt imprint. I kind of hate it, but it's kind of funny. I don't know, one of those things. Um, let's see, another thing I hate, I mean, this isn't a Charleston thing, this is just something I hate. Um, people who don't put the shopping cart away in the grocery store, I really hate that. It's so annoying. Just put it away. You already had the convenience and luxury of that is the American grocery store and you can't walk two feet to put your cart away and now I have to park like freaking six rows back. Just, ugh. Next, Chick-fil-A closed on Sundays. It's 2020, that's insane. Like, I know we have all been there when all we want is a Chick-fil-A biscuit or some chicken nuggets and they're closed because it's Sunday and that's just insane. Lastly, one thing that I hate, so I don't hate the Pluff Mud smell, but I hate the fact that for so many years, I mistook the poop factory on the James Island connector for Pluff Mud. I used to think that that smell going over the bridge to James Island on certain days, I was like, ah, oh, I love the smell of Pluff Mud. Years later, come to find out, no, I was actually deeply inhaling the smell of the poop of Charleston. Everybody's collective poop. And I thought it was Pluff Mud and I thought I loved it, but I hate it. Oh God, and it's getting worse, y'all. It's getting worse. 